intersection between two lines. What do I do? What do I do? I put them equal to each other and solve. So I'll bring my S and my T over to the same side. I get S, 1, negative 1, 3, minus T, 2, 1, 2, is equal to, I'll bring this vector, oops, over there. So I get minus 2, minus 4, 2. So this is two equations, two vari uh, two, three equations, two variables. You put it into a matrix. Looks like this. Get one. Get minus two there. Minus one. Minus one. Three. Minus two. And you reduce this. Dot, 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 dot. I'm not going to bore you with the details. But we're going to get two and two. So my S value is two, and my T value is also two. So I'll take that value, plug it back into this line here to find the point of intersection. Was I give four, negative one, six. So as a point, you get four, negative one, six. Okay, that's my point of intersection. Cosine. This will be the angle. The angle between the lines is the angle between the direction vectors. So I do the direction vectors in my cosine formula. You know, u dot v over length of u times length of v. I go one, negative one, three dot two one two all over the length length of u is going to be 1 plus 1 plus 9 under the square root. Then I get 4 plus 1 plus uh, 4. And on top I get 2 minus 1 plus 6, and that's uh, 3 root 11. Uh, I get 7 over 3 root 11, and there's my cosine. Part C. What is part C? Find an equation for the line, so I want to contain the two lines. I want a plane that contains the two lines. Okay, so the direction vectors are parallel to my plane, so their cross product will be normal to my plane. So for my normal vector, I'll take this guy, cross this guy. And then for a point on the plane, I can use either one of these vectors. So first, first thing you do is to, to cross product the two vectors, these two guys here. So I use my determinant formula. And what do you get? <clears throat> Ooh, you get uh, negative 2 minus 3 is negative 5i minus the j, which would be 2 minus 6j plus my k. 1 plus 2 is 3k. So I'm getting minus 5, uh, minus 4, plus 4, 
Okay, so my formula, my plane is going to be 5x plus 4y plus 3z equals something. Now, to find the number here, I just need to take a vector that I know is on the plane. And what is on the plane? Let's go up here and grab something. Um, the plane contains both lines, so it contains the point 2, 1, 0, since that's on the first line. So plug that into my plane, 2, 1, 0, minus 5 times 2, plus 4 times 1, plus 0 is D. So I get 4 minus 10 is negative 6 is D. So I get 5x, negative 5x, plus 4y, plus 3z is minus 6. Now the last question, part D. I want to find the x-intercept of this plane. x-intercept. So for the x-intercept, what you do is you set y equals 0 and z equals 0 in this equation. So x will be 6 over 5. So the point we're talking about is 6 over 5 for the x component. 0 and 0 for the y and z components respectively.